Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of RuneCast 2007, the podcast that you listen to while you scape. I am your host, Conventicle, and sadly, we do not have another person on this show today. Um, it's only episode two, so I wasn't really expecting to have another guest anyways, but um, one of the main reasons why we don't have anybody else on this show is because, first of all, I was going to have a co-host named Katsuo, and I talked about this in my first episode, but I didn't know why he wasn't um, responding to me and stuff like that, and he wasn't online at all, and that's because he's been having some trouble with the housing situation. He planned to move houses, but it didn't work out for him. Um, Maybe I'll have more details on it when he comes on the show, but I don't know if he will be able to anytime soon. Like at the moment, he's having to crash at somebody else's house and he's not really able to do much. So best of luck out to you, uh, Katsuo, on getting uh, set up with your new house and stuff like that. And also another reason why I'm not able to get another person on the show is because as you guys know, I lost 600 subscribers. Now that's not really um, hindering me from finding another person too much, but it's like, When people first view your channel, you know, like at first glance, and you have 50 videos and you only have 200 subscribers now, which I'm glad to have gotten uh, 200 subscribers back already, but still it's like, um, it's kind of hard for people at first glance to take you seriously until they watch one of your videos. And um, also, I'm really, really happy at all the good feedback I get on my videos. I know a lot of people and pretty much everybody who watches my videos really loves them. So, I mean, I'm really thankful that you guys are willing to support me and stuff. And uh, just remember that if you guys do enjoy this Runecast episode, then please leave a thumbs up at least. And if you have any uh, like suggestions or anything you want me to talk about or any questions you have for me, um, just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll answer them on my next runecast video or i'll just respond to you in the comment section below so i really love getting feedback that's probably the favorite my favorite thing about posting videos on youtube is getting to talk to people and having them say that they love my videos and stuff so i'm glad to be a part of this uh community where i'm able to give you guys you know information and stuff like that and help you guys on runescape 2007 and um also, the, let's get into the first topic now that we're on the topic of RuneScape 2007 that I wanted to talk about today, and it's about connection. Now, um, this is specifically has to do with DCing. So, um, let me tell you guys a little story here. So, first of all, um, this was like a week ago, and um, I know I haven't been posting that many videos lately, and that's just because I was unexpectedly sick with like a fever and like strep throat or some shit, and I still kind of have a, have a sore throat right now, but um, yeah, videos have been not as much lately, but, um, also it's because, um, I kept dying and losing my fire cape and I went to go do Jad, right? Um, and I failed today, but I did a week ago before I lost my second fire cape. This was the first fire cape I lost. Um, I lost it because I was going on a bandos trip, right? And my dad was vacuuming in the hallway and I have my internet connected through wireless. So, I knew my dad was going to be vacuuming, vacuuming, so I wasn't going to enter the room yet. So I was going to make sure he was finished vacuuming in the hallway before I started entering the Bandos room with my teammates. And I went in there when my dad was out of the hallway, and apparently he went back into the hallway with his vacuum, and he hit the cord, and I fucking DC'd. And the problem with this is, you know, I'm not going to complain because, like, of course, you know, it's my fault I DC'd. Technically, you know, it's not the game because back in the day actually when the servers for 2007 runescape were first up the worlds would be DCing a lot and that was the main problem like it would lock everybody out of the world not just me but this problem it was my fault but the reason why I wanted to bring this topic up was because when you are trying to log back in after you DC it doesn't let you you know like I just DC'd and it's me online you know I, I'm typing in my own password correctly I was just online and I'm trying to log it back in but I'm still in combat so I can't log back in and I can't log back in until Grador is dead or I die so that is the problem right there um, I wish you would be able to uh, get back online um, during some sort of combat situations you know um, so that way you wouldn't die and lose your fire cape So anyways, I lost my fire cape, and you are probably going to see some gameplay of me doing Jad in the video, but um, I went and I got my fire cape back, and then I went to Bandos again, and this entire week, Bandos has just been absolute shit for me. Kind of like it usually is, but like this, I got three Bandos boots, um, one hilt, which, you know, hilt, you can't really complain about that drop because it is supposed to be worth something back in the day, but now it's only like three mil. And I did get Tassus, but there is a lot of stuff like 
the list is too long for me to go on with how many rare drops I've gotten where it was just shit. Like, I've gotten, for example, six rune swords. Like, that in itself is pretty fucking crazy because those are really rare. I've gotten three rune battle axes, and you know what? I don't want to just act like I'm complaining here, so I'm just going to stop this list while we're ahead. But um, anyways, I haven't been getting any luck at Bandos, and I kept going back to Bandos trying to get something. And then as you guys saw in my last video, I died again and lost that fire cape. And then I went back to get um, uh, another fire cape, and I was at Jad, and I died because I wasn't watching my prayer, and I was trying to use a prayer potion at the last second, but I didn't have enough time to switch my prayers, and it was just a mess. I don't want to get too into detail, detail with that either, but basically the point I'm trying to get to here is I wish there was a way, if you've already gotten like at least two or three fire capes before from Jad, you know, you've killed them like two or three times, you should be able to buy fire capes from that guy in front of the fight caves with Tokel. Like, because what else are you going to fucking use Tokel for? And fire capes are really just a waste of time for you to get. And it's not like, you know, it's a tradable item. So if you die, you know, you just have like an extra fire cape after doing Jad three times. You know, I think that's kind of fair in my opinion if you, um, make it make it able to make you able to buy a fire cape if you have like 25k tokel and you've already done fire cape like two or three times i think that would be fair and another thing um that i want to talk about based on this whole fight caves fire cape topic is the jad pet now um i heard they are going to be adding this in the game which is probably going to be the best pet possible to get and I have not got, gotten a pet yet, but that would be awesome to get. I think my favorite one would be a Groudor pet or um, a Zillana pet, just because those are like the highest monsters that I can kill. I haven't gotten to Armadil yet, just because I um, haven't done. Uh, I don't have the range level to really go armor because mine is like 75. But um, yeah, I think those are the ones that I would get. But anyways, for the Jad pet, I think that would be awesome if they added into the game. But 100 fire capes in order to buy a jad pet like that is an insane amount of time just doing the same thing and it's just a tedious thing so i think even 50 fire capes is a insanely hard thing to do and um i think that's how many fire capes it should cost in order for you to get a jad pet um that's just my opinion but i'm looking forward to that being added into the game and i really do like the idea of boss pets i thought in the beginning that i wouldn't like this idea but i really do because first of all it's like an add-on drop you know like you could actually get tacits and a growl or pet in the same kill just like with you the way you get clues and stuff like that it's not like replacing the rare drop that you could have gotten instead so it's just an add along and also it's not like everybody can get one like it is really rare and you have to be doing a lot or you have to be insanely lucky in order to get one so i think the pets were a great addition into the game and i really want one but with my luck i don't think i'll be getting one anytime soon just gonna have to keep drilling these bossing trips in um, another thing I wanted to talk about recently that is going to be added into the game is the Abyssal Dagger. Now, we didn't really have any information towards this before they started working on it in the um, Twitch stream. So, I was watching it on the RuneScape Twitch stream, and I believe, like, mod Alfred or someone, um, I don't know all the mods completely, but um, I do know most of their names and stuff like that and what they look like. But, um, anyways, he was um, doing the graphics on the new Abyssal Dagger. Now, I don't really know why this should even be added into the game, because... I've always thought the DDS was fine and stuff like that, and I know they want to add, like, more bosses into the game and stuff, but at the moment, it's like, you have so many bosses and so many, like, rare items that all the rare, all the rare items are going to be lower and lowered in price. So, if you were going to add the Abyssal Dagger into the game, it should be dropped by a boss instead of the Abyssal Demons, because if they were dropped by the Abyssal Demons, then... Um, the price would just be probably even lower than the whip because the only reason the whip is still at the price it's at is because of the Kraken Tentacle because if you are using an Abyssal Tentacle um, once you finish it off your whip disappears instead of the Kraken Tentacle so that's really the only thing keeping the whip up uh, to the price where it's at so if you if you were gonna add this Abyssal Dagger into the game which they really haven't released how much info on what it's gonna do because you don't want it to be like overpowered and stuff like that because how could you make like a dagger have a better special attack than the DDS because that thing already rapes shit up and I know if they were gonna like add another dagger that's even more powerful than the DDS that's like has a similar uh, special attack style then people would really get butthurt about that so if they were gonna add it into the game I don't know how they're gonna 
add it um, special attack wise but I knew I do know if they're gonna add it into the game they should have it be dropped by a boss and another thing that I saw in the reddit forums um, with this new abyssal the new abyssal dagger idea was that it should be dropped like um, the god swords are dropped to where there's like a hilt and a blade but instead of like having the shards you would just have like a, the full blade so maybe like it drops in two pieces and um, maybe even like you get the hilt it's more rare than the blade and the blade like vanishes away after a certain amount of hits just like it does with the um, abyssal tentacle I think that would be a good idea but I don't know if that would be required because both those items in order to get together would already be pretty hard to get so and you don't want to I mean like what are you gonna do with the really powerful dagger so you probably only special attacks and I don't think you would want it to be disappearing if it's just like a special attack weapon but I'm not too sure about it you know I didn't really intend for this to be added into the game anyways they just went in the head and they didn't really release too much information and they already just went out went out and said that they're gonna add into the game but I'm just giving my opinion on it so that way it's not like a flop so that is my opinion on the abyssal dagger and it does look pretty sick I've seen the graphics on it so far maybe I'll post a picture on the screen if I remember but yeah that's my talk on the abyssal dagger and um, another new topic that is not really new but they keep going along with it is the arts and skill now they find they said they released uh, released a final developer blog for it, but um, it seems like they've been doing so many developer blogs like this already, and they're just kind of trying to you know um, damage control it until people are gonna vote 75% on it, and it's just gonna keep going on until they get 75% because they've already worked so hard on it. But I really don't think it's ever gonna pass, just because of the fact that it's not really a new skill. Because when you are training it, you know you have to train it with other skills. You're not you can't just go train artists. In. You have to train fishing, for example, in order to get artisan XP. It's not like an entirely new skill. I know they said they want to add a skill that also is based around other skills and it interacts with other skills, but artisan is basically Slayer for skilling, so it's not really a new skill if you know what I'm talking about. It's just a new thing to train. For example, if you're trying to get people to return to old school RuneScape after they recently like took a break or whatever, they're gonna come on, right, and they heard there's this new skill, oh what's this about? They get on, right, and they see Arson and they start uh, figuring out what it is and they start training it and then they realize, well, well, I'm just training one of the skills that I already have, like level 60, in order to get XP for another skill. I'm not actually like training the actual skill, like, you know, individually. So I think that's why a lot of people don't want to do it and also because of the items that they want to add into the game. Like some of the items sound pretty sick, but um, I think if they were going to do a poll on adding it into the game, they would have to separate it up into little pieces on, you know, like what um, items they want that are in the final artisan developer blog to be added into the game instead of the whole everything that is a part of the artisan developer blog to be pulled as one yes or no question if you know what I'm saying here because I went on the thread and a lot of people said that there's just like one little section of items that would be added into the game that would make it a deal breaker to where they don't want to add the skill into the game and you know I'm always one for new updates and I don't want to be a complainer or a downer that we should not have any updates into the game because oh this isn't rs3 or whatever but um it seems like a lot of people are having problems with this artisan skill and that is just because some of the items that they want to add into it and because it's not really in t an entirely new skill and a lot of people just aren't ready for a new skill because there's um, a lot of other skills to train skilling wise but then again you know the whole point of artisan is to train your skilling skills so um, yeah but anyways I think that's why a lot of people aren't voting yes for the artisan skill and I don't think it's ever gonna pass just because it's not really a necessity there's many other updates that they can focus on that would probably be more important anyways such as one topic that I'm going to move to here, which is the new trading system. I already talked about this in my last video, but I wanted to talk about this again because I was watching the same RuneScape live stream for 2007 where I think it was Mod Alfred or whatever. They were designing the Abyssal Dagger, you know, it was like a Q&A or whatever. And I was scrolling through the chat in the Twitch stream and everybody was saying, to straw poll the grand exchange and it seems like at this point there are so many people fed up with all the merchanters right now and not being able to find the items they want for like stupid quests you know like 
trying to find something like a mithril sword or whatever that you would need for a quest that nobody fucking has because who the fuck has a mithril sword or something like that you know just random items that you would need for a quest and just other miscellaneous items that they can't find because they don't have the grand exchange and then you go on zibes and you want to um place an offer but you have to be like a member now apparently and it's just kind of a mess the trading system so we need like a more organized system and it seems like now people just want the grand exchange at this point i think they should at least pull it again or they should just um keep working on the new trading system with the auction house that they planned on doing which is a great idea but it seems like they're getting fed up with all the new updates they want and they're forgetting about this one, which is which I feel is a really important one because people are really getting sick of all these merchanters and stuff, and they want to bring the economy up. And I don't really think this is gonna kill the economy if they bring the auction house. And I know um, a lot of people even want just the grand exchange, but I think they really should start focusing on this auction house because people are getting sick of just waiting all day, and they want to get the item they want at the price they want in a good amount of time. So yeah, that's it on that. Um, another thing that I did want to talk about, which is like more personal stuff, is that I got a job at Dunkin' Donuts, and that is going to be taking away from my time, and I also got to do summer reading and stuff like that, and I also get got to get my fire cape and stuff like that, so I got a lot of stuff to do, and that's why I really haven't been making too many videos lately, and like I said, I'm still sick, kind of, so... The main thing I want to focus on with my YouTube channel at the moment is just getting the word out there about my channel to other people and one way I can do this is to first of all get a channel background which I still haven't even done yet just because I'm not the greatest uh, GFX artist in the world you know like I know how to use paint.net like I don't have Photoshop or anything special you know I don't know how to make GFX just straight from nothing like I do make good thumbnails apparently because people want to know how i make that stuff and i just do it on paint.net and i just um do like the i use the watermark technique in order to add these um thumbnails and stuff like that but if there's anybody out there who watches my videos who's really good at gfx or just decent enough to make me a background for my youtube channel that would be nice you know just uh leave me a message on youtube um or twitter or just anywhere you can find me and uh we can set that up that would be nice but uh, yeah that's pretty much it about my YouTube channel and I have been streaming on Twitch lately when I am on the game because I haven't been on the game lately but when I am on the game I am on Twitch and um, usually when I'm on that I'm just bossing and stuff like that so if you ever want to see me playing the game live then you can just head over to my Twitch channel it's in the link in the description of every single video now because I have it I have it as my default settings when I upload a video and um, another thing that I wanted to cover was a lot of people wonder what I use in order to make these videos because I know a lot of people want to start making runescape videos but they don't really know how to do it so first of all for my YouTube um, record people wonder how I get such great quality and I'm gonna break it to you I use hypercam 2 so I didn't really ever think it would be really good quality but apparently it is so it just works fine for me you know I've never had any problems the only downside to having it is you cannot record your computer audio and your microphone audio in the same clip at the same time with hypercam but that's not really too much of a disadvantage because I can already do that on twitch and for twitch I uh, record that with OBS. I was using XSplit and I switched over to OBS because I heard you can get like free overlays on your video on your s streams like text and stuff like that and I switched to that and I definitely don't regret it. OBS is so much better than XSplit and it's a lot less powerful so it doesn't take as much like uh like it doesn't slow your computer down as much when you're streaming so that's what I use for the recording wise on my live streams and um, my videos and what I use for edit to edit is Sony Vegas and a lot of people who use this including myself just go and search up like how to get Sony Vegas Pro for free and if you do that you can probably figure it out yourself because if you were gonna buy this it costs like $700 and who the fuck is gonna pay $700 for a little YouTube video editing program so yeah that's what I use for all of my stuff I know a lot of people want to know about that and um, let's move on to another topic here and this will probably be the last topic of the video and this is the whole Mark Donald situation so if you don't know apparently if you were to type anything related to Mark Donald's in the game and you pressed enter and it actually sent 
you will get muted if any mod sees you and actually I think they actually have just like an auto mute system like where if you say and even if like nobody's around or whatever you're still gonna get muted or whatever but um, apparently I had that happen to me like one time but I wasn't saying Mark Donald's I was saying something else like gorilla I said gorilla chode and I got muted and I was in a bandos room with nothing but my teammates so I know they didn't do it and I just got muted by just the system the game or whatever by itself so anyways back on topic with the Mark Donald situation if you say that you are going to get muted into the in the game and I don't know why mod marks take such offense to this because like if you didn't have the word Mark Donald ever people probably wouldn't be calling mod mark fat that much because there's many fat people who to run gaming businesses or just game in general but apparently mod mark just takes such great offense to it where he's gonna mute people who just play runescape 2007 probably don't know anything about him to where they're permanently muted so um i had a friend who did that he said mark donald's and he got muted for like a couple days actually he was permanently muted but he was only muted for a couple days because he sent an appeal and it was like some bullshit appeal like it was really like a joke appeal like uh, saying, wow, you're a scumbag or something like that for muting me. You need to go on a treadmill mod, Mark. You better unban me now. Like, it wasn't really a serious appeal and stuff like that, and he got unmuted, but there are probably people out there who are getting permanently muted, and their appeals aren't, you know, like, looked at that much, and they're just permanently muted because they said Mark Donald's, which is just a silly thing to mute people for. Like, if you're getting that offended by someone on the internet just making a joke about your name, calling you fat, like, you need to fix your fat problem and you need to go work out, okay? That's the right solution to take instead of just um, muting everybody who says Mark Donald because if you keep doing that, you're feeding the haters, apparently they're haters, but they're really just people joking around on the internet who really don't really give a fuck too much about how much you weigh. It's just like a joke, you know? You're only feeding them, so I think that's not the right way to go about doing this, Mark Donald. So... I think that you should not be permanently muting people like maybe you know what if you want to mute people for a day that's fine I don't really care but like you know you don't really have to take such drastic measures about this and I can't believe I'm even talking about this like this is a really silly topic but uh, it's kind of serious too so I just wanted to let you guys know that you should probably not say Mark Donald unless you want to get muted or you just want to have a really fun time because it is kind of funny but anyways Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of RuneCast 2007, and if you did, then please leave a thumbs up. It's just one click of a button. It only takes a couple of seconds, and it does a lot for me, so please do that. And also, if you have any suggestions or topics that you want me to cover in the next RuneCast episode, then all you gotta do is leave them, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you also have any questions for me that you want me to answer in uh, the next RuneCast episode, then just leave that in the comment section below, too. I read all the comments and respond to most of them, so yeah. Yeah. Um, please leave some feedback on the video and I'll see you guys there in my next video if you're subscribed. Peace.